Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, steady snow still scheduled to arrive uh, well after midnight and into tomorrow morning. We've trimmed back the accumulations a little bit. We're not expecting any kind of a blockbuster snowstorm, but we think enough snow to uh, shovel and plow. Take a look outside where skies are cloudy. A few flurries offshore near the south shore, so wouldn't rule that out over the next, say, several hours. But the steadier snow really will wait until probably 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. So threat tracker for this evening is low. Much later tonight, pre-dawn Hours will bump it up to yellow, uh, arriving. I'm probably going to delay that now to about 3 4 a.m., at least the steadier snow. So things are getting slipperier and a um, little slow by daybreak as far as travel. Visibility reduced as well. Uh, best chance for the, uh, the steadiest and the heaviest snow would be during the morning. Should be ending by mid afternoon. The intensity coming down, slippery roads, especially during the morning, and trimming back the numbers just a little bit from. Uh, four to seven to three to six. And at this point, out of the three to six, I'm really leaning towards the low end of that range. But enough snow here that we're going to have some travel issues in the morning. Upper 20s to low 30s, 32 now in uh, Providence. We take a look at the satellite and radar composite. A few flurries and snow showers uh, just offshore and near the coastline. This isn't the real deal as far as the steady moisture that is still just off to our south, south of New York City right in here. So this is our developing system that will track north and east. Arrive here pre-dawn Saturday morning. Out of here mid to late day. A bit of a lull. The system across the Great Lakes may give us a, a quick uh, snow showers later Saturday night around 10 11 o'clock. It wouldn't last very long. And then system number two next storm system is uh, Sunday night. Monday morning. Hour by hour starting off this evening, you see the shield of snow advancing to the north. The darker blue represents steadier and heavier snow. This is four o'clock in the morning. A uh, bit of a mix, uh, perhaps some sleet along the south shore for a little bit. And then during the uh, mid morning hours, eight o'clock in the morning, starting at a pretty good clip. The darker blue indicates that. And then watch how fast the back edge is starting to pull through. This is 11 a.m. and then it is pulling away by mid afternoon. So that's one reason why amounts are not anticipated to be excessive. It's um, it's a very progressive storm. In other words, it doesn't really stick around too long. And the net result will be you know, accumulations on that three to six inch range. And then tomorrow evening, tomorrow night around 10 o'clock, a couple of hours worth of light snow coming through and then clearing out once again. So I trim back the numbers uh, a little bit south shore because there may be some sleet mixing in two to three and then a large portion of our area in that uh, three to six inch range. So as little as three to as much as six, but I'm kind of leaning towards the lower side of the of that range. So be mindful of that. Anyhow, regardless whether it's three or four, uh, we do anticipate slow, slippery travel tomorrow morning, 29 degrees. And then during the afternoon, the snow pretty much easing up to light snow early and then ending mid to late day, looking at temperatures in the uh, lower 30s. Seven day forecast Sunday day is dry. It's Sunday night is this next system. And the track on this may actually be one of those snow going over to rain situations where there's more snow north and uh, less snow to the south and along the south shore. And again, that is uh, not until Sunday night into Monday morning. Drying out Monday afternoon with temps in the 30s. So somewhere in a, in a three to six inch range is what we're expecting for tomorrow, leading more towards the, the lower side of that range. You can see at the bottom of your screen a lot of postponements. Yeah. If you go to WPRI.com, dozens of parking bans and a lot of activities have been postponed for tomorrow and yeah. Sunday. All right. Thank you, Tony.